Hello everyone, greetings from Chateau Buffamon. Welcome to yet another great video from nice and sunny weather live from Paris. I'm Sarp, your manager here at the Chateau and your host on this Chateau Buffamon vlog series. In this video today, it's going to be very special because it's very different where we will organize an outdoor wedding, a dinner outside with the nice and sunny weather that we've been having since last week. It's been super hot, super warm, almost up to 40 Celsius. So around the globe, if you are in summer period now, remember to rehydrate my friends. Me, myself, I might just take on that fresh lemonade in the afternoon. Yeah, anyway, so once again, welcome to this latest episode about how to organize an outdoor wedding. I told you this episode is going to be very special because today we have a special guest, Jennifer Fox. Hi Sarp, how Hi. are you today? I'm great, thank you very much Jennifer. You're welcome. Thanks for coming and uh, taking care of the wedding today. We are very much happy to have you here today on our vlog. It's lovely to be here. <laughs> yes, Jennifer is an American wedding planner living in Paris and she specialized in luxury weddings and she's just a person who puts a nice smile on your face. So great to have you here today Thank she'll you. share uh, some tips and suggestions with us uh, before we get into the preparations would you like to tell a bit more about the schedule and the different setups that we will use today and the organization please absolutely so first and foremost I just wanted to say thank you for having me on your vlog it really is an immense pleasure and it's so wonderful to be here and work with you as always so just wanted to let you know you. <laughs> so for today's wedding we're doing something a little bit different where we're utilizing different spaces in the prop on the property in order to maximize the best use of the sunlight so um, for summer weddings and in France, as you know, the sun sets very, very late. This evening, the sun sets just before 10 o'clock in the evening. So we really, really, really wanted to have the guests utilize the, the outdoor space as much as possible. Having said that, <laughs> the, the ceremony for this evening will start at six o'clock. And because the couple loved the grand ballroom so much and the decor and the, and the cozy feeling of it, they wanted to start their evening inside. So the ceremony will be inside that space. Immediately after the cocktail, will be held on the adjoining terrace on the property. So it'll be perfect because at 6.30 when the ceremony is finished, we'll get to open the doors and people will walk out onto the terrace and just be able to easily and comfortably move about the space while still being outside. Okay, great. For the dinner in the evening time, which will start around eight o'clock, 8, 8.30. <laughs> that's the part that they're looking forward to. Yes, yes, that's the best part. Um, it will be on the lawn just in front of the terrace on the property of the chateau. So I know that it's not always utilized this space for the dinner, but we really wanted to do something different and something special because the grounds and the property are so beautiful and the grass is so lush. And although I know a lot of ceremonies are held there, I know not a lot of dinners are held there. So I don't want to give too much away, but the design is absolutely beautiful and a bit outside of the box from what we both normally do. So I think it'll be the perfect spot for an intimate wedding of 40. Yeah, I've seen the design inspirations, they're absolutely beautiful, so we are very much looking forward to see them. So I'll let you do your magic, get on with the preparations. Uh, the day is long, so from time to time I'll come join you and uh, we are very much looking forward to hear your, hearing your tips and suggestions throughout the day. Thank so, you. Thank you and see you soon. <laughs> Sometimes we didn't really like the colors of the chairs and the coherence with the light of the floor itself. So, the second set of chairs, so take everything out, start once over again. So, the first tip when planning a garden wedding is to make sure to have a backup plan in case of inclement weather. For example, today we are at the end of June when we are having a heat wave here in France. So, when we first started planning, we wanted to make sure that we had a backup plan in case of the heat. So therefore, we chose to have the ceremony inside of the Grand Salon in order to take advantage of the beautiful space, but also to keep the guests cool when the sun will be at its highest.
So, my next tip when designing for an outdoor garden wedding is to really base your design concept on the overall aesthetic of the venue. For example, at Chateau Bouffemont, there are a lot of, there's a lot of greenery surrounding the property in the garden, on the lawn, overlooking the golf course, and even in the Grand Salon as we are here. So we made sure to choose pieces that showed a lot of nature, a lot of organic elements, and a lot of green. So again, my tip to you is whether you're designing in a ballroom that has an, uh, an outdoor terrace overlooking a garden or something like an outdoor cityscape with a skyline in the back, you never want to hide the property of the venue. You really want to do your best to choose design pieces that only enhance the look of the beautiful property. garden wedding, you really want to try to utilize the golden hour. It's the time of day when the sun is just setting and it's a beautiful golden amber color that really lights up everything perfectly. So as you can see, we're currently in the golden hour and everything is backlit beautifully, shining brightly, and everyone is having a lovely time. Thank you so much for listening to my tips today. If you have any questions or if you'd like any information at all, please feel free to contact me at jenniferfoxweddings.com. Jenniferfoxweddings.com. Merci. All right, we are here at the end of our vlog today. Jennifer was a great guest. She shared with us amazing tips and suggestions about how to organize an outdoor wedding. Just to wrap up, you have to have a backup plan in case of bad weather. You have to choose your design based on the venue and its style. You also have to choose the design pieces based on the weather of the area. And finally, you have to base your timing all around the sunset, the golden hour. I mean, look at this light, it's just beautiful. You can you can beat this, right? So, if you like this video, make sure to give us a good thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because soon we have still new videos, new content coming up. We will keep sharing with you the best suggestions and the tips that we can do. So, see you on the next video next month. Coming up.